Hi everyone out there in YouTube land. So it is a million degrees and I'm shooting from a very unflattering angle, but I'm back because I want to show you some stuff that I picked up from Yankee and from Amazon. This is mostly a wax accessories haul, but there is some wax in it. So let me uh, start off with what I picked up um, online from the Yankee website and I'll tell you what prices I paid and you can see the stuff that I got. Okay, so let's start off with a good thing. <laughs> Some of the stuff I wasn't too happy with. Okay, so I got this super cute bunny plate um, candle uh, jar candle holder from Yankee. Of course, this is leftover from Easter, but I like it for all year round. It's very Alice in Wonderland white rabbit-y and I'm a huge fan of Alice in Wonderland, so I think this is super cute. And this was, and this is called Ceramic Bunny Hop. And this was four bucks, so not a bad deal on that. And his bow kind of matches, no, doesn't really match my nails, kind of, kind of matches what I'm wearing. Anyway, so I got that. Then I also picked up another uh, jar holder, it's a jar plate. Now this one I was kind of disappointed in. Um, I only paid four bucks for it, so I'm not super disappointed, but it looks way different on the Yankee side. So this is square frosted pine um, plate. So that's what it looks like. Now on the Yankee site, they're holding it up against uh, a light source, I think, so that the pine really shines and the berries really shine and it looks really nice. But when you put a candle on it, it's going to be like, like this. So it's really not going to shine. It's just going to look like this. And to be honest with you, I wasn't super impressed with the quality. I mean, if it didn't have the Yankee sticker on it and people asked, you know, if somebody said to me, where do you think I bought this? I would have said the dollar store because, I mean, that's where it looks like it came from. Anyway, so, but four bucks, I'm not going to complain. Um, then I also picked up some tea lights for six bucks and I know I've complained about tea lights before how they really give off no scent and everything but I do use them for decorative purposes and I was I was completely out of the box of pink blush ones that I had which had no scent the kind of the box smelled like baby powder but the this tea lights had no scent so I digress anyway so I picked up a box of peppermint swirls uh, tea lights for six bucks so there's 12 of them in here and they smell like peppermint and they're red, so I just want to put them in my tea light holders, you know, at Christmas time. Um, even if they don't smell, I just want them for, for decorative. Okay, then the next thing that I got is this super cute jar holder. And this is from their Lodge collection. And it's got like a bear. It kind of looks like he has no eyes, but his eyes are there. Um, so it has pine trees and a bear and it's really nice. You know, when I first saw this online, I wasn't nuts about it because I'm like, you know, my, my apartment is done in like 1950s pinup art type, you know, kind of retro feel. It's not exactly cabin cozy lodge decor, but I really like this for winter and fall because it's not traditional Christmas, but it's still wintry with the pine trees and the bear. So I, I liked it. And um, this was six dollars and eighty cents so not a bad price there and I will put a candle in it which is not a Christmas candle but um, so that's what it looks like as a as a jar holder it's really nice I like it okay um, moving on let me see here I have something else on this list that I don't recall it says JT Alum Bears I don't know what that is. Okay, well, uh, there's something on my thing that on my receipt that I don't remember. I'll think of it after. Um, hmm. Okay, so now the next receipt that I have, uh, the next order, the next receipt, I'm, I'm out there. The next order, it was just two things, and I basically, I got this, I ordered more stuff from them just because I wanted this one thing. I like weird and wonderful candle jar holders. And this one, I listen my voice. This one is also from the Lodge collection, I think. And it's kind of like, it, it may, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be birch branches, but it kind of looks like antlers. But anyway, it's very weird and nice and rustic-y looking and I think perfect for autumn and winter. 
and I thought it was going to have like a plate in it, but it, you know, and then have this around it, but it doesn't. Like, you know, how the Bears has, the Bears has a plate, like, you know. Anyway, this one does not, obviously. Um, but the little prongs at the bottom keep the candle from touching your surface. So, um, there's that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I can show you without... It actually looks really pretty on a table. It's, it's, I think it's a good conversation piece because it is so strange. But anyway, as you can see at the bottom, the jar doesn't touch the surface of what it's sitting on. So that's really nice. That was not on sale. That was $11.99. Uh, I mean $12.99, excuse me. And then I picked up one candle because I just I didn't want to place an order for $12.99 and then have to pay $5.99 shipping and just get that one antler looking thing. So I picked up a petite vase um, jar. It's a pure radiance jar. And I got it because I was in a wintry Halloween type mood. So I got this. It's in the scent after dark. Now when they say this is a petite vase, they mean it. Um, on the website, it looks so, like, you know, enormous, but um, once you get it, it's really small. Now, if you can see in comparison to a um, Bath & Body Works mason jar, it's about the same, but, you know, a little smaller. So, yeah. Anyway, this was 6 bucks, and like I said, it's the Pure Radiance by Yankee Candle, and it's in the scent After Dark, and it has a pretty moon on it, and, you know, it's black, so I thought it'd be perfect for Halloween. And it smells exactly like I expected it to smell. It smells like men's cologne. You know, it, it may be with some patchouli mixed in, but um, not, a, not a standout scent. I didn't expect it to be a standout scent, so. They had another one that was called Denim, which I'm kind of curious as to what that smelled like. It smelled like, probably smelled like fabric softener, I would assume. I don't think it smelled like old stinky jeans, but anyway. So, um, then I picked up some stuff from Amazon that it, um, are candle related. Um, so, I got a... I'm trying to think of which one I should show you first. I'll show you this little thing first. So, I got this um, wax warmer. Now, I have wax warmers. I have two. Um, electric wax warmers, but uh, I wanted to try a tea light one. And um, originally, I, I didn't buy tea light uh, wax melt um, things because I'm lazy and I don't want to keep an eye on the tea light and whatever. But anyway, I saw this thing on Amazon for like six ninety nine, and I thought it was cute. And I didn't realize how small it was. So I'm a little bit worried about how much wax would fit in it and how much scent it would give off. So it's supposed to be a wax cube slash oil warmer. Anyway, so let me show you what it looks like. It's a little teapot sitting on top of a stove. And the stove, it has like this little old-fashioned thing in there. So you put the tea light in here. And then you put it in the little oven. It's just like very old fashioned. That's what was so cute about it. And then the um, the wax would go in this little thing. But it's so narrow, you couldn't fit a wax tart in there. I'm assuming that you would have to maybe put like one cube in there. So yeah, but I thought it was cute. Even if it doesn't work out as a wax warmer, oil warmer, you know, um, it's nice as a decoration. It's pretty cool. So, it's like an old timey looking stove. So I picked that up, and then the other thing that I got is a candle warmer crock. So it's by the company, it's by a company called Candle Warmers. This was $19.99. There were cheaper ones, but um, I, I figured I'd spend a little, you know, some extra bucks and get a good one. So this is what it, the box looks like. And I wanted to get, um, something that was a neutral color that would go with everything. So, let me show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, and I have a candle in it. So it it fits Yankee Candles perfectly. Um, so, it's just a plug-in warmer, and then, you know, it has this little, this little turny thing, and then you just, you know, click it on, and the little light, if I had it plugged in, would come on, and then, you have your candle melting. You don't have to light the wick. Oh, now I 
let me interrupt. Now I see the thing that I, I saw on my list that I couldn't figure out what the hell it was that I bought. Okay, so let me just go back to this for a second. So I picked up this Aluma lid um, that's from the Lodge collection, which will go nicely with my uh, bear candle holder. And it's got like little moose on it and bears and trees. So this was... I believe this was six bucks, but let me check without breaking anything on the table here. Um, yeah, six bucks. So when I was reading my list and it said Aluma Bears, and I'm like, what the hell is an Aluma Bear? That's what this was. So it's this really cute Aluma lid. Okay, so back to the crop. <laughs> so um, I got this. I got this candle warming crop because I kind of, you know. I kind of wanted to have my candle uh, in my bedroom burning all night, but um, out of fear I would never leave a lit candle, uh, you know, a candle lit while I was sleeping because that's, you know, just ridiculous. So anyway, I figured I could get this crock candle warmer, let my candle go all night and not have to worry about, you know, waking up with a bedroom on fire. So that's what I did, and I find that it enhances the scent of the candle, at least it did with this one. So I've been melting in it um, berry culotta. I haven't done a review of this yet, but I really, really like this scent. It doesn't really smell so much like a berry culotta, because it's warm, so it kind of smells more like warm, warm strawberry compote, like the kind that you get on crepes when you go to IHOP. But anyway... So I was burning this in my bedroom with an Aluma lid, and I got a good amount of fragrance, but I wished it was stronger. So I said to myself, you know what, Let me. I'm going to try leaving it on all night in my little crock warmer here and see what happens. And I find that this scent was even better in the crock warmer because it dissolves all the wax. So it, it, it warms from the bottom up, and then when you look, when it's, it, at one point, it, the wax will be completely liquid, the whole candle. Um, the unfortunate thing about that is you can't go from lighting the candle to putting it in the crock and then try to go back and light it because talk about tunneling that's what happens you you it completely warps your your candle so it's like a there's no wick the wick is is I don't know where the wick is it's somewhere in that wax but um, like I said I, I don't care because I really like the way the warmer enhances the fragrance and you get much more fragrance out of the candle. Um, this way I find at least with this particular scent. So it doesn't really bother me that, you know, the wick disappeared. It's in there, but you know, it doesn't bother me that I can't light the candle again, that I have to continue um, burning, it, burn, burning it, warming it in this way, dissolving it in this way. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's the only thing to be aware of if you weren't aware of, but I'm sure that you guys are candle experts. I am not. I'm still a candle novice, even though I'm a candle enthusiast. I had, this is my very first full-size crock candle warmer. So, uh, yeah, just be aware of that. If you put a Yankee candle in there, you're not going to be able to light it again. So you have to commit to either I'm going to light this candle and trim the wick and keep lighting it and that's how I'm going to get my fragrance or I'm going to put it in the crock and let it dissolve that way. So, but anyway, I really like the scent. I, it, it makes the whole bedroom smell like um, fresh crepes and berries. So, yeah. Anyway, so I just wanted to share all that stuff with you. I'm just looking around my table and make sure that I got everything. I think that's everything. Yeah, I didn't pick up too much. I just got a couple of little things for fall because you know what? I'm trying to stick to my wax band and there was basically no wax in this haul with the exception of my peppermint swirl tea lights and my little mini um, petite vase of after dark. So yeah, I'm trying to be good. And uh, I really don't have any money to spend on candles, so it's been easy to keep my band. Uh, so the secret to sticking to your wax band, be broke. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.